My name is Carmila Paracasi. I'm a tiger conservationist. Today I'm going out with my team to set up a tiger camera trap. This is Bukit 30 landscape or the 30 hills in central Sumatra. A part of this area, less than half and the most hilly, is protected as a national park. The unprotected portion surrounding it is appealing to pulp and paper and palm oil developers. These gentle hills and lowlands are easy to clear and convert to plantations. But they are also the most important terrain for endangered species, which puts them in direct path of bulldozers that come to clear the forest. Bukit Tigapulu is famous as one of the last refuges of many endangered species, orangutans, elephants, and the Sumatran tiger. It is estimated that only 400 Sumatran tigers are left in the wild. To find out how many tigers are left, conservationists use high-tech camera traps. We have um, identified the tiger road and we chose this spot to put the camera traps. Um, so this is our camera trap. Um, we've already filled the camera with the batteries which will last for two months. Um, the setting has been adjusted um, to get the image. Um, hopefully we get the tiger image. This method works really well, especially in the dense tropical rainforests of Sumatra where seeing wild animals is extremely difficult. Camera traps help us identify important distribution areas for tigers. It is a great tool to help answer the question, how many are there? It can be a difficult job. But they give us valid pictures of amazing wild animals to tell people how lucky we are to be sharing the same forest. So how do we do it? You can identify tigers by their stripes. Just like human fingerprints, they are unique. I usually take two stripes or marks which are easy to spot then compare them to other pictures. If both pictures show similar marks, then it is the same tiger. Our camera traps recently recorded 12 tigers in just two months in Bukit Tigapulu, including two mothers with cubs. Evidence of three cubs surviving is extremely rare and was captured by cameras located in the forest that are triggered by infrared sensors. That's why we are here now, in Bukit Sosa, setting up cameras at a location where we hope to capture the same tiger family. It will help us in our conservation monitoring. Between 2004 and 2010, Bukit Tigapulu lost over 2,000 square kilometers of forest to the pulp and paper industry and to palm oil plantations. With it went important habitat for tigers and other species. Our cameras show what we can lose. In order to save precious forests and species, WWF is calling all companies operating in this area to abandon plants to clear the forest and protect this rare natural treasure. We do our best to contribute by providing evidence that Sumatran tigers exist in the wild and they need healthy ecosystems to survive. I do this work because it is my passion. I believe we can make a difference.